This is my performance review of the ASICS Netburner Ballistic FF3 Volleyball Shoe. What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself and I'm a volleyball coach and semi-professional player and I'll be talking about my experience with the Netburner shoe. The Netburner shoe is ASIC's upper mid-tier volleyball shoe, meaning their entry level and cheapest shoe is the ASIC's Men's Upcourt 5 at $55, followed by their Gel Tactic 12 at $85, followed by their Netburner Ballistic at $110, followed by the most expensive shoe, the Sky Elite FFMT2, which I already made a video review, and I'll leave that video link in the description box for you to check out. In general, ASIC's shoe designs are more conservative and tend to stick with their classic look, kind of like Adidas, and the net burner is no different. There's a modern twist with the nice gradient pattern and color toward the back of the shoe, and angled lines giving the shoe a more athletic speed look. They also have a small selection of colorways with a variety of blues, greens, and yellows, giving the shoe a fresh and vibrant look, kind of like air, clouds, and water. The shoe is very wearable right out of the box and doesn't need a break-in period. The most immediate aspect I noticed was how light the shoe felt. It's lighter than the Sky Elite, Adidas Stable, and Nike Hyper Ace 2 shoes. It almost feels like the upper and the sole are similar in weight compared to most shoes where the sole is heavier than the upper. For the net burner ballistic shoe, I felt like I was moving on air, which could be a good or bad thing depending on your preference. Some people like a little bit more weight in the shoe so they feel more grounded and stable, and some athletes like to wear as light of a shoe as possible so they can move freely and quickly without resistance. The traction is excellent, even on dusty floors. And that is probably one of my favorite aspects of ASICS volleyball shoes in general. They usually have great grip for their entry level shoes and definitely at their premier level shoes. I was able to change direction pretty hard without any sliding of the shoe or my foot. The upper is very flexible, which is good for shoe durability and foot movement. However, if you like a more stretchy and softer feel like a mesh material, you may not like the feel of this upper. I still think this shoe is very comfortable to wear, but you're just not going to feel like the upper is hugging your foot like a lot of basketball shoes feel. I have a wide foot and I only felt some slight rubbing against my pinky toes, but other than that, they felt pretty comfortable to play in and didn't have that really hard compression against the side of my foot like many other shoes that are mainly fitted for narrow-footed athletes. I really like the extra padding near the back of the foot and ankle, which added an extra level of comfort and security. The tongue is made of a thicker mesh material, which is very comfortable on the top of the foot, thick enough to not feel like the laces are digging into my foot, and flexible enough to where I didn't even notice the tongue at all. I think it's a great design. Even though the sole feels pretty light, you get pretty good energy return with a little bit more bounce when jumping and sprinting. It's not as much spring as the Adidas Dame 8s or the ASICS Sky Elite shoe, but it's definitely more than the Adidas Stable, Nike Hyper Ace 2, and Way of Way 10 Low shoes. It also has above average shock absorption, so you will feel more of the force dissipate on landing. However, because the sole is lighter and less dense, you will still feel some impact compared to denser soles like the Dame 8s and Sky Elite shoes. If you want to try your own ASICS Net Burner Ballistic FF3 shoe or any other volleyball shoe, then I highly recommend shopping at All Volleyball, which is my favorite online volleyball store to shop at. They have everything volleyball related from shoes, balls, bags, jerseys, spandex, shorts, training equipment, and more. Use my discount code and link below to get 10% off your entire purchase and free shipping on orders over $100. Now let's get back to the shoe review. The lateral support is above average, so you'll still have pretty good ankle stability for volleyball. However, I do prefer a more locked in feel like both of the Way of Wade shoes that I reviewed earlier this year where the transition from the sole and the side of the shoe are reinforced so that the side of the foot can never slide beyond the side of the shoe. 
Plus the sole is thicker than the typical volleyball shoe, so you are going to feel a little higher off the ground. This could contribute to feeling a little less stable for some athletes who want a more locked in feel closer to the ground, but could feel great for athletes who want a little bit more give on the side of the shoe when changing direction. Overall, this is a pretty good shoe for the price being just over $100. You get great traction, above average ankle support, decent bounce and shock absorption, and pretty comfortable. I would recommend this shoe if you're a leaner and lighter athlete that wants a shoe specifically for jumping and feeling lighter on the court. So setters, alsa hitters, and some liberos if you don't mind feeling a little higher off the ground, and some middles if you're on the lighter side. Also, if you just want a lightweight shoe that's not going to fall apart and makes you feel a little bit more springy, then this is the shoe for you. I don't recommend the shoe for heavier athletes since the sole will not be dense enough to absorb the shock of your landings and the shoe may feel too light for you to move with confidence because your foot may not feel locked in being a heavier athlete. Also, the barrels that want to actually feel the ground with a thinner and stiffer sole will not like this shoe since the sole is thicker and flexible. Let me know what your favorite volleyball shoe to play with and why in the comments below.